I'm Nina Constable and I've been working as a conservation filmmaker for the past five years. My work has taken me to some far-flung places and I've encountered incredible wildlife across the globe. But over the past few years I've begun working closer to home and realising more and more just quite how unique and diverse our UK wildlife is. Last year I began working with WWF UK, documenting some of the amazing projects they're working on with Sky Ocean Rescue. I have met incredible people, real ocean heroes, dedicated to protecting and restoring our seas, our species, our natural environment, and I've also learned just how much these places and species need our help. From otters, kingfishers, sharks and seagrass, beavers, butterflies, rivers and oceans, from land to sea, I've learned just how connected it all is. But I've also been realising how threatened they are. Diving beneath the surface of the coast in Wales, I discovered a world than a world. Underwater meadows of seagrass lying just metres from the beach, lying hidden unless you know they're there. These swaying fronds of seagrass absorb carbon 35 times faster than our rainforests, provide a nursery for young fish and create coastal buffers against storms that batter our coastlines. Sadly, we have lost over 92% of our seagrass meadows around our UK coastline, but a groundbreaking project is hoping to turn the tide on this loss by planting over 1 million seagrass seeds in an effort to create new meadows and restore depleted, lifeless habitats. The UK is surrounded by coastline and our coastal waters are part of what makes the UK so diverse and so special. But, shockingly, less than 1% of the seas around the UK are fully protected by law. Proper protections are not just essential for our marine and coastal wildlife. If we were to protect and restore UK coastal habitats, they have the potential to help us in the fight against climate change. To absorb up to 140 million tonnes of carbon, roughly one third of the UK's yearly total carbon emissions. The sound of mull in the surrounding waters is an incredibly important breeding ground and habitat for a whole host of species. Home to the largest bottlenose dolphins on the planet and a potential breeding ground for basking sharks, this area of ocean is vital for the survival of these incredible species. Heading out with the WWF team and the scientists was an experience I will never forget. As we steamed further into the big blue, it seemed impossible that we would see anything. Water reaching out as far as the eye could see. But then, suddenly, a huge black fin cut through the water. It was unmistakable. Circling our boat for what seemed like hours, stretching the length of the hull and moor, this was one of the most incredible encounters. To be in the presence of something so huge and so ancient, but also witnessing the incredible effort of the scientists working to gather vital data in order to help protect them. I feel incredibly lucky to have been given opportunities to encounter iconic species, but recently I've been looking even closer to home, exploring what lies right on my very doorstep, as we were all asked to stay home as spring unfolded around us. Bluebells emerged in abundance, gradually fading into foxgloves as the seasons marched on. I watched nesting birds bring food to young chicks, and observed butterflies beginning to fill the hedgerows. I started to turn my camera on the life surrounding me and began to become much more connected to my local patch, to the small stuff, even the macro world. What I have learned through my film work is that the UK is home to the most incredible array of habitats and species, large and small, and that you don't always have to travel to have one-of-a-kind experiences. I've also learned that this incredible life is in trouble and needs our help. During this strange and uncertain time, many of us have had our eyes open to the wonder of the wildlife lying right on our very doorsteps. It's been a solace for so many and provided a sense of calm and healing. But now nature needs us to give back. It needs us to give it a voice. It needs us to protect it and it needs us to act now. We need the next 10 years to be a turning point for our oceans or we risk destroying them. And that is why WWF and Sky Ocean Rescue have launched a brand new campaign. Ocean Heroes encourages us all to take actions in our own lives, whilst calling on the government to commit to an ocean recovery strategy that will restore our oceans to health. Think about what the natural world has given to you over the past few months and take a stand for nature.